lush green pastures and palm trees, severe poverty and squalor. Haiti is a mixture of pain and promise. It's considered the poorest nation in the Western Hemisphere. More than half of the population survives on less than a dollar a day. It's also home to hundreds of thousands of orphaned children. I recently traveled with a group of journalists to see firsthand how a ministry called Cross Catholic Outreach is making a difference with the island's orphans. After a three hour journey from the capital of Port-au-Prince, we arrived at Project Hope South, or as they say in Creole, Camp Espoir, a large Catholic school and orphanage sponsored by Cross Catholic and home to more than 450 orphaned and destitute boys and girls. Most of Haiti's orphans are economic orphans. Their parents are still alive, but simply can't afford to take care of them. So they bring them to Project Hope, where they get three meals a day, an education, and learn that Jesus loves them and has a plan for their lives. When I look at all these children that live at Espoir and others in the neighborhood who've, who've come in and recently for a big event there today, I think about the future they have because of this wonderful ministry. The possibility of a great education, vocational training so they have a way to make a living when they leave, and the, and the commitment and support of a loving family. Today is an extra special day. Cross Catholic is delivering shoe boxes full of gifts to the orphans. It's called their Box of Joy program. Thanks. <laughs> These boxes are packed and shipped by families back in the U.S. and filled with everything from toys to toothpaste with the number one goal of putting joy in the heart of a child from Haiti. You know, Haiti has taken so many hits over so many years between the earthquake in 2010 and a hurricane that seems to hit every couple of years. It's always the kids that suffer. And so we want kids just to know that they're loved and they're cared for and just to enjoy being a kid. For hundreds of Haitian kids, Camp Espoir is their only hope out of poverty. That was the case for 23-year-old Lithian Delise. He came here as a little boy because his mother, who had six children, could not afford to take care of him after his father left the family. He remembers what it was like when he first arrived. When I come in Espoir, there, I see my life and on all the change. My life was changed. And then I see so many people, but they were not my friend, not my family, but I, I mix with them. I live my life with them. And I, I see love, I find love. They share love with me. And I wasn't go to school. They take me to the kindergarten and I learn, I learn English, I learn French. Today, Delise is studying tourism and hospitality and volunteers at Espoir whenever he can. After a devastating hurricane in 2016, many Haitians like Jean-Claude, his wife Roline and daughter Frances live in makeshift housing. They have no electricity or running water and dinner is mostly rice and beans and the wild chickens that seem plentiful but they make getting their daughter to school a top priority. In talking to Rodeline, her mom, she said, you know, she has to put her on a motorcycle taxi every day to take her to school. And someday she doesn't have that money. And when she doesn't have the money, she's so committed to her going to the school sponsored by Cross Catholic Outreach that she puts her on her back and walks one hour each way to the school. In addition to providing food and education, Cross Catholic is committed to helping many Haitians rebuild after Hurricane Matthew damaged or destroyed thousands of homes and left many homeless. It's hard not to be emotional when you witness things like we see behind us, a house that collapsed because of a hurricane, 13 people living in a place you can barely crawl into. It's, it's hard not to become emotional when you witness human beings suffering that kind of a situation. It's a long-term investment in the lives of families, children, and especially orphans, who, thanks to Cross Catholic, now have hope for an exciting future. Wendy Griffith, CBN News, Haiti.